Cakey's Couch. Uh, today is Monday and I'm doing Movie Monday on time, which is like a freaking miracle. Um, but I've been thinking that like, well, I think a lot, always, and usually when I share them people are like, oh no, she has been thinking again. Uh, point being, I've been thinking that, you know, this I have been thinking even before I started vlogging because like how often will I release my videos and I mean yesterday was the last time so I'm like is that like too often like two days in a row I usually try to keep at least one day in between them usually two that's like my ideal uh, vlogging kind of like time every third day right I mean if I live two then yeah you got my point, right? Uh, as you can see, I'm on the new setting. Uh, hopefully, it's a little bit better. I noticed that last time, like, it was somehow tilted. That like my bookcase was going like this in there, but like, okay, I don't know. Let's see. We're still like figuring out the right angle. Uh, but today is Movie Monday, like we already accomplished. Uh, and movie, uh, I was, I admit, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do this movie a lot, but then again, like, usually I'm preaching movies or I'm just like, well, not my piece of cake, but today I'm probably gonna, like, vent out. Because today's movie is 50 fucking shades of grey. Um, I tweeted about this when I was watching it. And I think I tweeted something like I'm watching Fifty Shades of Grey and it has been such fucking shit and it's been only like 15 minutes. So it was shit to the end. Um, I don't even know where to start. I mean I haven't read the books. I remember when they came out I wanted to read the books but then I didn't because I just, I just didn't. Uh, I, I should probably thank myself for that, that I did not read them, and I admit that I've heard very mixed reviews of Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, mostly people of my age, which is like 20, around 20, are like, this is the shittiest shit that has ever shit. Uh, and I'm on that board. And then the other hand, it's been like reviewed so amazing and everything like is so ooh, and that's like kind of like typical 40s or like moms that are like aged 40 and over. Like, guys, please, like, if if you want to watch porn, then watch porn, like, it's better than this shit. I mean, and what went through my head for the whole time was basically like, this has so many twilight-ish things in it, because, you know, obviously in my head, because it was originally based a fan fiction on Twilight. And, I mean, you have so many so many kind of like what I could see because I admit I admit I was toy hard moment of silence uh, and I like that so much more better it was so much better I mean I just I mean there was nothing good in this there was nothing good in this I mean not even the actors I did not even like them. I mean, Jamie looks good when he has a beard, but as a Christian Grey, I just wanted to strangle him. I just like the, the character itself is so annoying that I wanted to strangle him, not Jamie, obviously, because he's doing just his job. But like, he was so annoying. I wanted to yell, and I actually did scream into my pillow because I was so annoyed by Christian Grey. I mean, like, make up your mind, you fucking asshole, like, ah, I'm so angry, and I get caught up in the emotion, as you can see, I'm like, I want to 
punch something. This this movie was so bad, and I mean, what I did like about it, if I have to say something good, is that uh, Anastasia or Anna, whatever you call her, uh, the main girl, at least she had the balls to say no to Christian, and he actually took it in a, his own way, at least at some points, or at least it seemed so. Usually, then, like I mean, it, it was like. Um, like Christian was like okay, like it, of course an extremely twilightish moment when he was like, like oh no, you you gotta stay away from me and oh yeah, just you know, I'm out of your life and blah so destiny, uh, and then she was like, what like okay sure dude, and um, then she went into a bar and then you know like uh, she drunk called her him just to like kind of like call him off, like, uh -huh, I'm in a bar, like, suck it, type of thing, and then Christian was like, oh no, I'm gonna get you out there, like, no, and you're mine, and all that, I was like, you just said to her that you you are not part of her life, like, don't, do, do you get the memo yourself, like, oh, make up your mind, dude, like, and that happened, like, multiple times, I think. At least it felt like it. Like he's like going back and forth. Like no, I'm do I'm not doing that. But and then he's doing it. Like, uh. um. So yeah, she had balls in her. Own At first, I was like because of the, it started off with the interview, Anna going to Christian and then interviewing him. At that point, she was really Bella, like kind of like quiet mousy type of person and I was like oh no no I'm not doing this again like this is such bullshit but she ended up having balls which is awesome and I was like yes you go girl but you know still uh, it ended up in a way that I did not assume it would be ending and it ended in a way that, hey, there's sequel coming, which is coming, like, I think they're filming it already, Fifty Shades of Darker, I think, I guess. And there's a new book, the first part of the Fifty Shades of Grey, from Mr. Grey's weird point of view. Like, please, no, just, I'm already, like, done with this. So, and of course it's gonna be a fucking bestseller because all the horny moms are buying it. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, like, pick something else. Like, the internet is full of better fanfiction and porn. Like, go, pick there. Like, if you wanna read it, go and find some erotical books. I mean, I'm sure they are better. And of course, you know, the one of the things that I've been... Uh, I personally do not know the world of BDSM is that, yeah. Like, but I remember seeing rants that this does not portray it right and it's making it shameful in somehow, or it's like making, you know, it, it's not being in good light. And uh, I, I honestly don't know what to say to that. I wouldn't be surprised because. You know, well, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised because I mean, this has been such hmm, bad movie, and like the aftercare, like that's also an important part of like that kind of culture. I know that uh, in this movie, it's non-existing really. He just carries her into her own bed, and then he flees to his own bed because he do not does not sleep next to another person in that way. In a sleeping way. And I'm like, she's fucking Christ, dude, go see a therapist or something. Um, I like, there was this one part that I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, like, do something to yourself, dude, like, I don't know, call police. And like, Anna was also that, in that sense, way, like, saying that to him. And he was like, no, 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 you're getting it all wrong. Like, no, you do not get that wrong. Like, nope. So, I would give this 
a warning label, label, label for sexual themes. Surprise! Uh, then there was um, no, I'm not gonna give that, and I'm gonna give you a warning that you will need like uh, some sort of way of expressing your rage after that. Uh, I admit that in one part, kind of, it left me horny, I have to admit that. I was not surprised, I mean, I can be easily turned on, so you know, it's nothing new. Uh, but then again, there was like a next scene that made me just angry, so yeah. Uh, do not watch, not even the unseen edition, which I watched. Uh, not any sort of way. Please do not watch this movie. This is crap. Uh, go to your local erotic store or the internet and find better things in there because this is not worth it. I mean, it lasted like I think two hours. Yeah, the unseen version is two hours and three minutes. The theatrical version is just two hours. Ooh, we get three minutes of extra. I'm so exhausted right now. Can you just feel it? I'm just so exhausted of like talking about this shit thing that happened to me. The watching happened to me. And that the fact that it's in my brain right now. And the fact that I'm talking about it right now. That's exhausting. So yeah. No. Twilight was better. That's my option. Twilight was better. Uh, mm -mm. No. Uh, if you need to watch this, then you know, watch Twilight, the first one. And then maybe the second part also. It also has kind of like themes in here. And then go watch porn. Like BDSM porn. And you're better off. Yes. Um, next time is still this week. I'm actually quite busy this week. I have school tomorrow, then I have like two days worth of different doctor thingies. And on Wednesday I'm also like, probably, most likely, getting a new snake. And on Friday I'm also getting a new snake. So I'm getting two new snakes this week. Then my snake population is at its top. And I really cannot get any more snakes. So, um, I'll talk to you next time. Give me suggestions, suggestions of what I should be talking about. Also, feel free to suggest me new movies. I'm probably not gonna watch them. I'm being honest here. Uh, I mean, I, it takes me a lot of effort already to watch movies that I have in my shelf that I should watch. So, if you know that I have something in my shelf, uh, I mean, you're seeing a lot of it, kind of. Uh, so, you can suggest those movies. Uh, or if you know that I've seen some movie, then yeah, sure, uh, give me that one. Otherwise, uh, not new movies, please. Because I just probably cannot do that. Um, so yeah, I can, I think that's about it. Until next time, bye-bye.